Good morning. I have just gotten out of the shower. I usually wash my face in the shower, but I thought I would show you not my routine, just how I like apply my makeup and wash my face. <laughs> I'm a busy mum. I don't have time to do like the cleansing and the rolling of the rose quartz or jade crystals, whatever it is. I have a pretty simple routine. Um, I mentioned a few weeks ago on my Instagram page that I am loving the Flower Beauty um, makeup range. It's by Drew Barrymore. I think they're just continuing it in Australia because you can only get it from Chemist Warehouse and it's almost completely out of stock. And I've been such a good girl. I promised myself I would use all my other foundations up, which I have. <laughs> and now I literally have, there's probably half a bottle of this left. So I'm hoping they bring it back. I'm going to have to find another one. I like this one. I used to have, I've still got some left of this here. And this is a lighter one. This is the um, All Day Wear Foundation. It's from Kmart. And I do really like the Kmart foundation. But it has no SPF. And I would like to have some SPF in my either moisturizer or foundation. Yes, I should put a layer on of just sunscreen. Uh, but again, this is just a really quick routine on how I sort of get ready. And I don't do like all the steps on some of these beauty gurus or people that like really pay attention to their skin. Um, I'm a pimple popper. I love popping pimples. So I'm not the best at looking after my skin, but I thought I would show you also because I have been I have been gifted a like a face brush I want to call it um this is it here it's by the brand I want to say Duvoli I could be really wrong I'm actually really bad at pronouncing brand uh, names that's it there I actually used to have let me just show you I actually used to have something like this I'm not going to name this brand but this is the one I used to have and it's for the shower, but the actual clip broke. So this doesn't actually stay down anymore and I couldn't use it. So she became redundant, but she's been sitting in my bathroom. <laughs> uh, so when this brand reached out, I thought I would happily give it a go. I do have a discount code, which I will leave here for you. This is not an affiliate. I don't get anything from it. It's just if you wanted a product that I think is good and is very cost effective um it's like a little mini pamper session for a mum because this actually comes with a few different heads you get like this larger round head which i think would be great in the shower to sort of like exfoliate your body and then you get two smaller brushes which are full of face one is soft and then one is extremely soft and then you also get this other little pumice stoma which would be great for like your elbows or your knees and that sort of thing great to prep if you're doing a self tem this is the one i normally use on my face i'm normally in the shower doing this but I ain't gonna film this in the shower. So I brought out the products I usually use. This is the daily face wash gel that I use. It is from Kmart. I think it's like $5. I'm really liking it because it la my face needs to feel clean, feel fresh. Morning and night I shower morning and night I have to have a clean face when I first wake up and just before I go to bed so that's my daily one I got this ages ago I use it once a week it's like a face scrub for your face I got it from Priceline how much no idea have I had it too long potentially and then when I do have makeup on, I actually use this here, which is the Body Shop Cleanser. These are all in the shower. So at night time when I get in the shower, I'll use the cleanser to take my makeup off. I'll use the gel and my brush and give my face like a good clean. My face feels clean when I feel like my pores have been cleaned out. Uh, and then same as the morning. When I wake up in the morning, I'll have a shower and I'll just use these two together. Uh, I find just my hands, I don't feel like it's actually getting in and cleaning it where this is. So what I'm going to do is, I, it's the morning. 
I'm gonna wash my face and just show you how I sort of give myself a good clean over and then quickly put some makeup on and then I'm gonna come back later in the evening and then we're gonna do it all in reverse. I'm gonna show you how I take it off. I'm doing this because it's a real simple process to do and you don't need really expensive products, but you can get some really good products to use. So I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna get in and show you and give you a little demo on how this thing really fluffs up. And if you're one of those people that just needs to feel like you've got clean skin, I think this might be up your alley. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm all right, so I've just put it on and give myself like a nice wash. My face hasn't gone red at all. Yes, I have picked these pimples before when I was in the shower. That's what it is, and these pimples are from me eating a whole pack of jelly beans the past two days. Anyway, so I'm going to rinse this off. It feels nice. That's just the brush after. This is the harder brush, although it's like a really soft. There is an even softer brush than this. If you've got more sensitive skin, it could be quite good. Or if you've got breakouts like I do, um, the softer one actually might be a bit more gentler on them. I'm really, really liking this cleanser here from Kmart. It's part of their new range. I'm pretty sure this was $5. Look, yeah, it's you can get better products on the market from a very cost-effective, good cleaning, cleansing one. For me, it works really well. I'm just going to wash it off my face now. Okay, now keep in mind, I would usually do it in the shower. So by now, my face is dry and I'm out. This goes in the shower. This is a waterproof ring. Um, I hate comparing things, but I prefer how this one here, this actually like clicks down. This other brand I had, it had like, you push that down and it had like a little flick that sat up in there. And when I dropped it in the shower, it landed and that actually popped out and it's just, I can't get it back in now. So unfortunately it's now redundant. I do like the size of this one here. It's actually, when I first got it, I thought it was too small, but it's actually quite a good size to get in. Some of them, so the other one I've got, sorry about my close up, the disc is a lot larger. So it can be a little bit more difficult to get into spots. Where this one here, I think it's like really quite good to get around into your little crevices. I like to buff over my lips. It gives them like a little exfoliating. I have no idea what I'm talking about guys this is just what I do to make myself feel good in the morning whether it's a home day or not um, I'm actually just putting on my moisturizer <laughs> don't mind my voice I'm still recovering from my nasal infection sinus infection after having my wisdom teeth out over two weeks ago now over two weeks ago and I'm still recovering so I just put moisturizer on and then I literally grab my foundation and I put it straight onto my hands and go pump, pump. <laughs> I'm sure there's like some beauty bloggers out there probably looking at me thinking, what the heck are you doing? This is what I do. I don't necessarily have time to do all the steps that I used to do. And for me, I just think it's Sometimes wasted products, like I have a beauty blender. To be honest, I hardly ever use it. Doing this in a camera is really difficult. Let me just check in the mirror on how I'm going, people. I have a pretty good room. This is bathroom lighting. It could be quite bad, but I'm just showing you how it goes. Okay, I've changed the angle a bit so you can see a bit more. I personally don't like the dewy kind of look because for me it just feels oily that's just the way I've grown up I just don't like it so I just go in this is just a Kmart powder I've got one that is like a bronzing powder oat press powder I don't know whether you meant to put that instead of um, foundation or if it's meant to be foundation and then I've got this one here which is like a translucent setting powder because I'm tan I'm going to put this one on and I just get this is a um, nude by nature they call it a kabuki brush. I just put it on. I know, I'm not patting it in. Um, just to take away some of that shine. Because by the end of the day, you're going to see by the end of the day how my face looks. Cooking, cleaning, running after children in the park, all that kind of stuff. Um, I do end up with a bit of a, a dewy, uh, looking face. 
Now, we're just around the home for today, so I'm actually getting like super done up. I've just got like a t-shirt and some pants on. This here I got from Kmart ages ago. Do they sell it anymore? I don't know. I love it. This was really, really cheap. And all I do is that and that. And that's it. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, I just like, and I just get my fingers and just pat it in. I'm actually going quite high. I don't do it like here, I'm going like quite high. I just find it's a nice little freshen up for my eyes. So this is actually my, what do you call it? Blush. I'll put you over here, it's a bit of angle on it, you can see. I'll show you after in some better light, but it's just a little bit of color, a little bit of color. I feel like this is all turning out to be Kmart stuff. This is actually a brow pencil. I had my brows tattooed ooh, almost two years ago. Um, they've lasted pretty well, but I do go over them with, let me show you. I've had this for ages. I bought this, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would know I bought this probably five months ago. Just from Coles. It's a men's kit, and I do my eyebrows with it, because I think it was 10 bucks, and that is how much I have used. Where's the actual colour? Let me show you. Like... See how much that's squeezed? That's all I've used for my eyebrow. That's gonna last me. Oops. Sorry, my camera almost fell. That's gonna last me for ages instead of buying the female version of it. But this here I find really handy. This is just from Kmart. And it's a can we can we see? Can we see? It's a wind up. Again, I don't have to sharpen a pencil or anything. I just kind of fill them in a bit, which I'm just gonna fill them in like. I'm kind of just doing this process because as you guys saw, I kind of slap my foundation over. So this kind of just takes out any blotches where the foundation has covered up. My eyebrows, that's it. That's all I do. It's a little spoolie on the end if you want to be like all fancy schmancy, but that's just all I do. Then what I do, I have learnt the hard way with an eyelash curler once. I actually pulled it too hard and took all my eyebrows out. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Literally a two second process. I have two different types of mascaras that I have. This one I'm not loving. I got it from Coles. It's the Maybelline the Color Cell. The Color Cell? Is that what it is? I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I've got this came out one here, which is a waterproof one waterproofer it's waterproof it's okay i actually probably prefer this one because it is waterproof at the moment and with my mascara i used to do like all my top lashes and then all my bottom and then i stopped doing the bottom and just doing the top now i do half of the top <clears throat> sorry so let me see if i can do this in the camera without pulling like one of those really weird funny faces when you're applying mascara i literally just do Pretty much from where my coloured eye section is across. I don't do in here anymore. Whether it's true or not, I just feel my eyes look bigger when I'm a bit tired. That is it. Let me get my hair done and I'll come back and get some better lighting and show you my face. All right, guys, I've come into my bedroom where the light is a bit more natural. Again, we're just having a house day today, um, but my face feels just really clean. I don't feel like I've got any product on. My mascara is still drying, uh, but this is it. If I was going out, I'd probably put a little bit of bronzing on to give me more depth to my face. I'd probably put some lip moisturizer on. That would probably be it. If I was going out for dinner, I would do darker here and more to my eyes. Kind of it. That's how I do. That's how I film. When I get the comments on what I'm using, my, the products are all quite cheap. Um, I'm really liking the face sort of cleaner. I haven't tried it as a body thing yet. Maybe I'll try that this afternoon and give you guys input as well on it. I don't know, but again, I do have a discount code for it. I think it's a really great price. It would be too late for Mother's Day in Australia to purchase it because it did take, I think, a week to get to where I am. But look, maybe a great present for someone or you could do like a, a late Mother's Day present and just say it's coming. <laughs> um, but look, I'll come back this afternoon and show you how I get this off and give my face like a nice clean down. All right, guys, it is the end of the day. We've had a busy day. I have helped my husband back here with my little ones with pulled out. I have probably spent five hours in the kitchen cooking. My hands are red raw, so my face 
This is the end of the day on how things are looking. That's either a mosquito bite or a new pimple coming up. I did just scratch that pimple and this one down here. I can't help myself. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I take all of this off. I'm pretty happy with how my makeup held up, to be honest, given the day. It was just a home day. My hair's all up and everything now. So I'm usually doing this in the shower, but I'm doing it here beforehand. This is what I use to take off my makeup. I really like it. It's like an oil cleanser, I want to say. So I usually do this in the shower because it emulsifies when you add like water and heat to it. So that just usually, that usually just lives in my shower. I usually just get a mount like that and then I just start rubbing it in. This is not like a cleanser. This is just to loosen up my makeup to get it off. Let me go rinse my face. If it was once a week, I would go in with this face scrub. But I only done that the other day. I just get my brush again and I go a pump. Turn it on. I don't know if you can hear me, but I hate the feeling of oil, like oily feeling skin. Right before bed, and I will show you, I do put on the um, Jehovah oil. I do like this. Um, particularly in winter. Oh, look at that foaming up. Um, because my skin does get dry and that works really, really well. But I need to have a clean, dry, filling skin. And this little brush does an awesome job of like getting into all my pores. Does it give it a deep cleansing pour? I don't know because I'm not a dermatologist. I couldn't tell you, but my hair, it feels good. Um, and that's all the extra. I don't know if you can tell. This brush, she's looking a bit dirty. So it's actually really getting in and cleaning out my makeup. I'm gonna rinse this off and I'll be back. All right, I've just dried my face. Oh, I like wearing makeup, but it feels so good to get it off now the lighting here is not the greatest my face is not red i do have a couple of breakouts through here and you'll see some up through here and that's really because i had a whole like i said before a whole packet of jelly beans mm -hmm. um so that is pretty much my morning routine and evening routine again don't forget i do have a, a little discount code for this cleansing brush here I'm actually going to do another video. <coughs> I've been asked a bit in regards to like my self tanning, my fake tanning. Um, I do it myself, and I've been and I have been asked on what I use and how I get it to look quite even. I'm going to do a video on it, and I think I'm actually going to test out this here to see if this could be like a good exfoliating brush. Um, to get my old tan off and dead skin before I reapply a new tan. But anyway, this is the video. I really like the feeling of having clean, fresh skin. Again, I usually do it in the shower. And then just before bed, I'll get like two pumps of the Jehovah oil and rub it into my face. Does it do anything? I don't know. Do I feel a difference in it? I definitely feel more hydrated. But for me, I like a clean, dry, finished look. We'll talk soon, guys. Bye.